yo, cool face effect from it's not excuse me. It was a super cool music video. It just got deleted, I think. And yeah, it was directed by Omar Jones, super cool creative director. He's super creative, one of my favorites. Follow his Instagram. So we're doing this face effect where it slides up and down and it kind of does like this whole thing. Now you can use the same technique for the sign and for the letters and I guess for the wall. It's the same technique, it's just a different mask and you have to be creative with using your masks. But I'm only going to show you the face part because then the tutorial would be super long. Anyways, you're going to need sapphire plugins for this. If you know another way to doing this, let me know in the comments. But right now, this is the only way I know how to do it. So, let's get into it. Follow my Instagram like usual. Later. So once you have your clip selected, the clip you want to do, you're just going to right click the clip and import it as an After Effects composition. You can do it in Premiere, but if you have After Effects, you know, might as well just do it there. So once this After Effects composition opens up, you're going to want to select your clip, press Ctrl D, it'll duplicate that clip. Now this effect really works well with Snot because he has the whole hoodie thing and it kind of just, I don't know, it's really good. I don't know, just like a shape and everything. Anyways, so now I'm going to grab my pen tool. Make sure the first clip is selected. Grab the pen tool, and I'm going to make a just a mask around his face. And there's just a nice line right here. He's wearing a headband, and it's just making a nice line for it to blend in with the effect super well. Now, once you made your mask, you're going to want to go to the right, and there's a tracker tab. If you don't have it, window, tracker. Now click the tracker tab and then make sure right here says mask one, which is the mask we just made in this clip. Mask one, position scale and rotation and skew. And then just click that little play button. Now it's gonna track the mask all the way through your whole clip. Now we wait a little bit. Now we can see at the end here, it kind of uh, messed up. So we're just gonna change the points around a tiny bit like this. And then we'll do it for the next one. I guess it could have just tracked that point instead of doing it by hand. Now I'm going to click this little keyframe button so it tracks one keyframe. And so now if you look, the whole video is tracked. So now for the effect. If you guys didn't hear earlier, you're going to need the Sapphire plugins for this effect. Uh, if there's another way to do it, let me know in the comments. But this is the one way I just know how. So the effect is called blur motion curves blur mo curves so s underscore blur mo, co blur mo curves so once you grab that uh just once you search that up just grab it drag it onto the top clip now the first thing you want to do is where it says wrap x wrap y depending on if you're going to go sideways or go upwards you're just gonna just for a safe bet just make sure wrap x is tile and wrap y is tile now you'll have a ton of snots on your screen which is also a cool effect, but that's not what we want. So click on your sec your top video track again, press Ctrl D to duplicate it one more time. Now press M on your keyboard to bring up the mask. And now on this mask, just check this little inverted box. Now you have the regular clip. So now this is just kind of like prepping for the effect. So select the middle clip again, right? The middle clip. And now the effect is the shift Y, shift X. So if I want the face to go up and down, I will shift Y. And if I want the face to go from right to left, I'll shift, I'll shift X. So now I'm just going to keyframe the shift Y. So I'm going to click this little uh, stopwatch here. And I'm going to go to the end of the clip. And I'm just going to move his face up just a little bit to about right here. So if you look at the clip his face will be moving like that. If you want it the opposite way, I guess you can go minus 1700, but you're gonna be around 2000 or 1700 because that's just, it'll look the best. So now it's going upwards like we wanted. Now you can kind of see right here, it's just the video clip I used wasn't that good of a video clip, but to get rid of this, we can change the shutter duration to something like so absurd like so everything's just blurred like that you know it's your preference where it's just a blurry face but obviously put that down because that's not what we're looking for you can change the shutter shift so it just moves up a little bit like that and now that's how it looks something more realistic and at the end effect 
that's not how we want it to look so I'm gonna move this down right there so it looks something normal boom and it goes back to his face All right so if you look at it real fast it looks like that that's basically it for this tutorial after fix people uh, thanks for watching like I said before it's the same thing for the sign and the text behind them and the wall behind them it's the same technique it's just different masks so use your own creativity to figure that out and yeah thanks for watching give me tutorial ideas follow me on Instagram blah 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 later okay so once you have your clip in your timeline this is how the clip I chose is gonna look it's super simple all you're gonna need to do is first of all you're gonna need the sapphire plugins so if you don't have that go get those and that will be that so you, yeah so let's get into this so I'm gonna right click insert new video track now I'm gonna just hold control and copy this and move this to the top go to the pan and crop on the top layer click on the mask make sure you're at the first keyframe so you don't mess anything up and now the pen tool should be already be selected and now I'm just gonna draw a mask around Snod's face. Now his hoodie shtick is super good for like this effect. It just really it just makes solid lines and just looks very good. So now now that you've made a mask around it, you're gonna wanna keyframe that mask. So this is probably gonna take up most of your time and the way you keyframe it is just by physically moving the keyframes of his face point by point and making sure it looks nice so I'm probably gonna fast forward it but some tips about this is don't go frame by frame at first go you know about 20 frames forward move the mask and then fix everything that's in the middle and then you don't you won't have to go frame by frame um, and to get the job from so yeah if I fast forward through this then I did Okay, so I just finished masking, and it's a really rough mask around him, but I'm just going to feather it out a little bit, and I'm going to go feather type both, and just bring that up about like three or four or five, so we have our mask. Okay, so the effect is called S Blur Mo Curves, so go to your video effects tab, and look up S underscore blur, and you wait for Vegas to load. Okay, so the, once you have the effect ready, just drag that effect onto the top clip. And the first thing you want to do is right here where it says Wrap X, change that to Tile. And right here where it says Wrap Y, change that to Tile. Now, if we take a look, it this should have put multiple faces around Snot. But for some reason, the Vegas version of this does this. So all you need to do is click this arrow right here. And where it says Crop Left, just bring that as close as you can before it crops his face out and crop top bring that as close as you can before it crops his face out so about there and then just do that for the right as well so we get it super close in and the bottom crop that in get it super close in as you can so now we have a ton of snots so the way we get rid of this is this is a cool effect too but we don't that's not the effect we're going for. So we're going to right click, insert new video track again, select your top layer, hold control, drag that up. Now you're going to want to go to the pan and crop, actually go to the effects panel in your pan in your top layer, and then just turn off blur mode curves. Okay. Now you're going to want to go to your effects panel and go to the pan and crop panel, the mask tab, click on the first keyframe, and then actually click, click on your first keyframe and where it says mode positive change that to negative and then it'll change to that and then you're going to want to do this for every keyframe and this change from the positive to the negative positive negative positive negative positive okay and so once you do that now we'll have a regular snot unless this first which I'm gonna have to fix which would be right here I'm gonna have to select this path negative there we go okay now there's some little bit 
of extra snot faces right here. Make sure you go to the second clip and change the crop in that. And then there you go. You'll fix that. But make sure you don't go too far out. You just do it just a little bit so it's not showing. Okay, so now the effect is you're going to want to make this move up or down or right. Make sure your second clip is selected. Go back to the effects panel. And then the way you do that is changing the shift X for your horizontal or changing the shift Y. So I'm going to change the shift Y because that's how they did in the video. So I'm going to keyframe by clicking this little time stop here on the shift Y while my cursor is at the beginning of the, of the clip. Ch clicking that and then I'm going to go anywhere in the middle. Make sure this little button selected is here. Sync cursor. I'm going to go anywhere in the middle. Actually, sorry. I'm going to go to the end. So I was thinking about my last tutorial. I'm going to go to the end and I'm just going to change the shift Y to negative 2000. Vegas Pro won't let you slide it that far, but that's what that's the best it's going to look. So let's go negative 200. 25. All right, let's see how this will look. So if we shift B, oh, that's too fast. Oh, I think Vegas is a little bit different than Premiere. So we'll change this down to minus 2. So see how this looks. A little bit too slow, so I think minus 10 would be good. Or minus, that's minus 0.2. To go change that to 2. So now if you look at it, that's more of the speed we're looking for. And now you can change the blur by changing the shutter duration. Just bring that up and it'll be more have more of a motion blur, but it doesn't give it that effect. So sometimes you even want to turn it down. So let's turn on the shutter duration to about here, shift B, and that gives it more of a realistic effect. Now you can just implement this with your signs and your words like they did in the video and just be creative about it it's the same technique it's just different masks you're gonna have to do that's basically it for the tutorial thanks for watching give me tutorial ideas and peace out later